video is on logarithms going to exponential form and the logarithm properties. So writing logarithms in an exponential form, you go in a circular fashion. We're going to start with the base and come around this way. So we wrote our B first, our exponent second, and then the solution third. So here we have the problem log 11, 121 equals x. So again, we're going to write our base first, then we're going to write our exponent second, and it's equivalent to this number. So we know that 11x, and we can write, rewrite 121 as 11 to the second power. So x is equal to 2. So let's look at the logarithm properties. So for the product property, you can have log x times y. It can be written as log x plus log y, which is the product property. The quotient property where you have log x divided by y you can rewrite that as log x minus log y. And lastly, the power property, you can have log x to the y, and then you can multiply that y to log x. So let's take a look at a couple of logarithm rewrites. So log four times two to the third power, we're going to apply the product rule. So we're going to be adding, so we're going to have log 4, and then we're going to add, and we'll say log 2, and then we're also going to have to apply the product rule where we can multiply 3. The next one is a division problem, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So we're going to subtract log 7, and we have to apply our power rule to both because the 2, the square, is on both of them. The last one, we would have log x, and the power rule says we can multiply the 5. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.